just a little it's bit. It's just in her mouth, I think. Was it? It was. I think the opportunity is left. <laughs> Hello and welcome back for another cat video. We haven't done a cat video in a hot minute and I'm excited. I'm so excited for you guys to see Lavender. She's growing so big, so quick. Where has the time gone, Neve? I don't know, it's frightening. Where is the time gone? Yeah, it's scary. Anyways, we are going to do, as you see in the title, her DNA test. This isn't sponsored. I paid for this with my own money. I know that Joey Graceffa, who I adopted Lavender from, did a DNA test. I'm not sure what company he used, but he did a DNA test on Sakura. Sakura? Sakura? Sakura. I can never seem to say that word without feeling like I'm saying it wrong, regardless. He did one on her. <laughs> I've been attacked back here. Lavender! The string's hanging out of my pants, so she's trying to play with them. Excuse oh, La I think we need to cut your little claws there, your yes. little nails. Yes, do you want to pass her to me? I'll try. <laughs> Lavender, Lavender, <laughs> you're being rude. She's wide awake now. Okay. You're being very rude. Here. There's Molly, a rude baby. Here's a piece of salmon for her. Would you like dried it? salmon? Would you like a piece of dry salmon? Did she eat Delicate. it? Delicate, yeah. She's eating that. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, oh, it <gasps> you spit it on me. You spit it on me. You need lavender. Okay, bye. Anyways, Joey Graceffa did a DNA test on Lavender's mom because she was a stray, but we still don't know who Lavender's dad was. So, you know, I know that at this point she is a calico, but that doesn't tell me much. So I want to know her history, her ancestry. I also got the one that tests for her health conditions to see like if she's at risk for any health problems. I did a video quite a while ago, this one right here, with my guide dog Gallop where I did his DNA test to reveal his health and his breed. So I'm basically doing the same. I can't remember what company I used for that one. For this one, I just went online, searched cat DNA, and I picked base paws. It just came in the mail today. So that bell ringing as she scratches herself. It's so ridiculous. It's so ridiculous. So that's what we're gonna do today. This is gonna be a two-parter because of course, I have to attempt to swab the cat's cheek, and then I have to wait for them to actually send the results. So part one, Today is swabbing her cheek. Also, gonna give a shout out to my new merch. Honestly, I don't know when this video is going out, so I don't know if this is out yet or not. If it is out, it's at fanjoy.co slash Molly Burke right now. Go purchase it. If it's not out, it will be there. And you should follow me on Instagram at Molly Burke Official to be up to date with new launches of merch, what's going on in my life, all that fun stuff. It is a lavender themed hoodie. It has a little cartoon of her, including her silently judging you collar tag and in braille, tactile braille that you can feel, it says lavender. And then on the back, it's her booty with her big fluffy tail. Then we also came out with this phone case, which is currently on my mom's phone, which is kind of a recreation of her tag, which says silently judging you. And then of course it says lavender, her name. We've got a long sleeve tee and a gallop mug. So go check out the new collection. Now let's get to cheek swabbing, shall we? I'm taking a quick break to have a tuna snack before I have to wrestle with lavender to get saliva from her cheek. And I just know she's gonna be one jealous kitty of this snack. She's gonna smell it on my breath and she's gonna be like, meow! Yum, 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 yum. Look at the little baby, all wrapped up in her blankie. She just woke up from a nap. Last time the internet saw your face, unless you follow her Instagram, then you see her frequently at Lavender Burke. Self promo, right? This is how you self promo. But last time the internet saw her, she was just an itty bitty little baby and she's gotten so big. Haven't you gotten so big? She's gonna be hefty. You can tell she's really sleepy. This is her big time to nap all afternoon. You know, a true cat nap. Okay, Gallop is very interested in this. We have a sleepy kitten. She was playing so hard all morning. Now she's very tired. The challenge is gonna be, you know, getting this in Missy's mouth for five seconds, especially because I can't see you. I have a very small mouth. Okay. You got her eye there. Can you, oh, is her mouth down here? Yeah. Can you open up? Open up. She's so sleepy. She, she licked, licked it. She licked it. <laughs> Babe, it's not tasty. You no, know, that's not what we have to do. Could you open your mouth? Try to stick my finger in her mouth. Baby girl, it's a baby girl. It's okay, if you need to bite me, you can bite me. I just need to get this in your cheek. I just need to get this in your cheek. Your pretty little cheek. It's so big, and cats are so small. Come here. Oh. Oh, yes. Oh. Almost. We almost. Almost. Okay. How? Good girl. Well, wow. No, I'm supposed to rub it in her cheek. This it's okay. Is, like, it's as long as it's in there. Keep going. Okay, keep biting. 
Nom. That's adorable. Nom, nom, nom. I think that's good. I think so. Yeah. Let's do a little more. Just a little it's bit. just in her mouth, I think, was it? It was. Oh. Okay. Oh, oh. I think the opportunity is left. <laughs> Yeah, I'd say you'll have a fight in your hands now. Okay. Yeah, she gets a real feisty. She's a real feisty girl. Gets it from her mommy. I'm feisty too. But just a little bit more. Just I spent a lot of money on this. Very expensive. Okay. Oh. <laughs> okay, well. I think it's a grade. I hope so. You're supposed to rub it in their cheek. Did it say cheek? Yeah. Mm. And she was just kind of... Mm. Mm. <laughs> it's a waste of 150 bucks. Maybe we should get some tuna. Mm -hmm. mm, tuna. But then wouldn't that bring the swab? Probably. Okay. Nope. She's like, not anymore, I don't. Not right now. God, they're real little climbers, aren't they? I'm supposed to rub it in her cheek pocket for five seconds. By the way, don't mind this mess of my laptop and Gallup's bed over here. Instead of moving it for filming so it was out of the way, now it's just in the way where we're filming. <laughs> Lavender loves the tripod. It's her favorite thing. She's looking over at you like, hmm. Do you want to give it a go? Success. I just needed a second set of hands and she was perfectly fine. Mama Bee held her. She didn't make any kind of fuss. And I just got in that cheek pocket. And it says five seconds and we did it for like 13. And she didn't make a fuss. I just pulled it out right after and she was like, okay. She's the best. She's the best. Look the at these best. two. You're the best too. I think Gallup helped a lot. Yeah. Lavender yeah. loves the Gallup. He just kept, she kept, he kept things nice and calm for her. Didn't he Gallup? Yeah. Let me know if you guys want a Gallup version of this same hoodie where it's like front and back kind of situation and what color you'd want it printed on. By the way, I should let you guys know this is like a super oversized fit. So if you want it to fit a little more snug, I would size down, but it's definitely very oversized. This is a size small and you can see it's super roomy and I can definitely get away with wearing it as like a dress with little shorts under it. So just thought I'd let you know. Right? We just registered our cat, Lavender, on the Base Paws website, so everything's logged in, and that's where in a few weeks we'll be able to log in again and find her DNA results. So this is ready to get shipped back. It's a prepackaged or pre-labeled box, prepaid shipping. So we just have to take it to USPS, and boom, off she goes! Okay, so we have got this sample all sealed up. Mama Bee's gonna fly off to the mailbox, ship it off, and I will see you in a few weeks with the results. I have a cat at my feet. You just hanging out at my feet? Just chilling? She's like, I believe I'm ready to film. <laughs> Typical lavender. Poplar lavender. She'll climb the curtains. Or the blinds. The blinds. I'm a cat. Every time I wear this hoodie, Lavender gets like really salty about it. Cause you know, I put the hood up and she's like, you know, being a cat's about more than our pointy ears. We have like a big thing every time I wear it. So I'm a cat. Right now she has her back turned to her and she's wagging her tail. Like I am not pleased. Oh, she has her back turned to me? Yeah, yeah she's salty. I'm not pleased. She's always salty about the sweater. Speaking about this hoodie, the lavender hoodie with the lavender and braille that I was wearing at the beginning of this video, released yesterday. Pause, just kidding. I said the merch came out yesterday. It didn't. The merch collection is coming out this Friday, October 23rd. So head over to fanjoy.co slash Molly Burke to find it there. It's four new pieces, including the lavender themed hoodie and the lavender themed phone case. Again, it's coming out this Friday. It did not come out yesterday. Okay, bye. Anyways, it's probably been about a month since we we filmed the collection of her saliva and what a month it has been she has continued to grow like a little weed she's so big every time I'm on Instagram or TikTok live shameless plug at Molly Burke official on both platforms you guys are like she's so big now yes she just continues to grow and grow and grow like crazy but she's just so adorable we just love we all love her so much my mom my boyfriend myself Gallup Gallup probably loves her the least I'm not gonna lie to you but she loves him the most Gallup is kind of like her emotional support animal if you will yeah Gallup is her security blanket. She loves Boss Cat Gallop. Wherever Gallop is, that's where she wants to be. Yeah, he's Boss Cat. And now she happily lives here. Yes, she's been uh, living full time with Adrian and I for probably like three weeks now, and it's so fun. Yeah, it's she's been, been great. incubated and she's ready. Yes, 
So, okay, what I'll say is Base Plus was sending these adorable emails. I'll put some screenshots. They were sending these email updates every so often and they were so cute and comical and funny and like I just really appreciated the humor in the updates. It made the waiting go by much quicker. The anticipation, if you will. Now, the results are in and I, you know, to be honest, like I don't know that much about cats. So I feel like we're gonna read it and I'm gonna be like, Mm -hmm. Great, but I'm sure a lot of you know a lot about cats so you guys can comment and like decode what these things are or give us some more info All right, mom. Are you ready to read it to me? Yes. Wait, wait, wait I want to have lavender in my arms if she'll if she'll put up with it. Okay <laughs> for two seconds. It's a cat in a basket <laughs> Oh, look at her. Isn't she just adorable? <laughs> look at her. Look at the little cat in a basket. That's such a great bed for her. She oh, loves McCallum her loves it. He's like, look, that's so cute. Is that your best friend, Lavender? Oh, they love one another so much. Is that your best so friend, much. Lavender? Yes, it is. No, don't bite it, Callum. <laughs> He's wagging his tail. Hey, Miss I Lavender. I love my little baby sister. Miss Lavender Pie. Uh -huh. you, love you love her, don't you? Yeah, we all love you. Isn't all she right. funny? Are you ready? Miss Missy, are you ready for your test results? Are you ready to find out about yourself? It's so cute. Look at my baby cat. Look at my baby cat. Sometimes we wrap her up in her little baby blankie and she actually really loves it being laid on her back in her in her blankie all like sausaged up like a little burrito. And I call her when it's just her head sticking out and she's all cuddled up, I call her cat Rito. Like a cat burrito, she's cat Rito. So cute. She is, oh my gosh, we just all love her so much. All right, so Miss Lavender. Miss Lavender Honey Burke. Health markers. We're going to go to health markers. Clear means the cat is negative for the disease associated marker we tested. Carrier means it has one copy of an autom autosomal recessive disease associated marker. Oh, she says I don't she want that. She doesn't like that. No, no. So at risk or at high risk? So they could have, you know, two genes that right. would put them at high risk, blah, 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 blah. Anyway, so let's go down through lavenders. Polycystic kidney disease. I think a lot of cats have, I'm not sure, or, or can have. Yeah, I know kidney disease is, I've heard, quite common in cats. Yeah. We're a first-time cat owner, but I've heard it's common. Yeah, and honestly, we're, we're, we're kind of not the most knowledgeable cat owners. Yeah. Hers is clear. She is well a done, Miss Lavender, honey. Hey, you're a negative for that. Now this one is cardiomyopathy hypertrophic, and let's see status clear. Woo! Clear, Lavender, you're clear. Okay, now we're going to get retinal degeneration. Wow. Now this is the one that everyone's interested in. This is progressive retinal atrophy. PRA is a disease marked by the deterioration of retina caused by the progressive death of retinal cells. That's me! I mean, oh that's not God. the disease I have, but that's literally what happened to me. The slow degeneration of the retinal cells causing me to go blind. Okay, drum roll. Drum roll. Does she have it? Status. Negative. She is clear. <laughs> I guess you're not gonna go blind like me. Oh, well, I think that's a good thing. I know, but if she was to have anything, you know. Yeah. That would have been kind of... It would have been kind of twins. bonding, it if you would. would have been very, very bonding. Polysaccharodesis 1. We are... Negative! Cat lavender is clear. Good job, babe. Wow. What are you with all this good health, huh? Goodness gracious, girl. Like my healthy little kitten. Yeah. This is the gangliocidosis. Lavender is... Negative, which means she is clear. Yay. Yay. We've got a lot of good good, good results news. here. Good news. Okay, now we're on to gagliodosis GM2, GM2A deficiency. You know the one. You know that one. And this one is clear. Wow. Well done, kitty kitty. And now we're on to the next one, which is gangliodosis GM2, another type of ganglia or whatever. <laughs> And what is she? On every count, there's three counts. She is clear, clear, clear. Okay, since T Turia type B. This is clear, clear. Yeah. Oh my goodness. She's a, what a healthy little thing, thing genetically. Okay, so now we have cystiturus type 1A, and she is clear. And then we have polypyria acute intermittent, and there's one, two, three, four, five, six within this section. What do you think she is? Clear! Yay! She is clear. Then we go to porphia congenital. There's two sections in this, and she is clear! Oh, wow, what a cat. Then there is autoimmune lymphoproliferative syndrome, and she is clear. 
And then there's factor X11 deficiency. There's two sections and she is clear. Okay, hypothyroidism. Yeah, clear. clear. And then the next one, maniodosis alpha, clear. And the one at the top of that was hypoglycemia. Something, no, it's a different name, clear. And then we've got myotania, clear. Neiman Pick disease, clear, clear. We have primary hyperoxyria, clear. We have another one, the last two, vitamin D deficiency rickets, type one, clear and clear. Well done, Miss Lavender Pie. Our girl is amazing. Well done, Miss Lavender Pie. Oh, lavender. Now, okay, so now we're going to go on to what type of breed she is. A ragdoll. What? 9.8% oh. ragdoll. <laughs> I think you're just going to straight out say she's a ragdoll. Rag doll. And I was like, what? That would be different to everything we've ever heard. Oh my god, she's 9% ragdoll? Mm -hmm. That's why she's so long furred, maybe. Or part of it. Yeah, because the ragdoll is, is Ragdolls is long, have long yes. fur and they're floppy. Yeah. She and you know she's quite floppy. Yeah. Is she a Russian blue? 15.8%. Russian blue. Didn't you want a Russian I really blue? Want, yeah, Russian blues are one of my favorite breeds. I love Russian blues. They're from Russia. Average, Shocking. Yeah, 8 to 15 pounds. And they're curious, social, and intelligent. She's certainly intelligent. She's yeah. very social. Very, she's very she's an curious. Extrovert. A true wow. extrovert. She really is a mix. You can really see the mix in her. Okay, Norwegian forest cat. Do you think she could be part that? No. She's 0%. Siberian? No. 1.3% Siberian. Mm, how foreign of you. They are social and playful. Okay, I think this cat has just got every characteristic of each cat that's in her. I think all cats do. Yeah. There's an American short hair. No, it's not that at all. There's a Maine Coon. Ooh, the Maine Coon is beautiful. You know what she has of the Maine Coon? What? Her, the ears. The big ears? The big ears. Miss Big Ears? She got her, her ears from the Maine Coon. Aww, what Honest, percent is she? She is 4.7%, but I tell you, it's all in the ears. <laughs> That's that four percent is right in the ears. It's all in the ears. Like it's crazy. Come here, Miss Big Ears. And even the little hair is coming out of the ears, which I think got trimmed actually. Look at Miss Big Ears. Come on, show those ears. Show your big ears. Show She's like, I don't ears. want to. You're embarrassing me. Show the ears. You're embarrassing me. There they are. She has big ears. We can't get over her ears. They're so big. And her tail. Her tail's huge. Yeah, where'd she get her tail from? Hmm. She's not an Abyssinian. She comes from Asia. She is not a Turkish van. She is not a Turkish Angora. She is not a Persian. She is not an exotic short hair. I exotic short hairs are my favorite breed. That would be like my number one breed choice. She's not a British short hair. She's not a Himalayan. She's not an Oriental short hair. She's not a Peter Bald. A Peter Bald. What a great name. Not a Burmese. She's not a Beerman. Oh. My, sorry, she is 1.9% Beerman. So these ones like have the, they're more like a Siamese. Yeah, they're Siamese, related to the Siamese. And they're, the, the female is only six to 10 pounds, which we oh. think she'll be bigger than that. She'll right? be a big lady. Yeah. I think she'll be close to the 15 mark. Yeah, high Siamese, 28.1%. Really? Yeah, that's a, a Thailand cat, six to 10 pounds. So that's small, very big ears in this cat. <laughs> With big ears. Bengal zero. Oh, I do love Bengals, Bengals are so Stunning. Savannah, 4.7%. And this cat has big ears too. From... She's getting all the big eared breeds. Wow. This cat, for the female, could be between 12 to 25 pounds. That sounds more like her. Egyptian Mao Zero, and that's it. Wow, so she's mostly the Thai Siamese. Yeah. How interesting. Isn't that interesting? That's super interesting. Yeah. And, and the other one, the other highest is Ragdoll. Ragdolls are beautiful. Yeah, they're lovely. All right, well, there we have it. Comment below, let me know your thoughts. Did you guess any of her breeding right? I'm curious. I, again, like, longtime lover of cats, don't actually know that much about them. So maybe you saw these breeds in her better than I did. I'm curious to find out your thoughts. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Give it a thumbs up if you did. Hit that subscribe button if you want more lavender and gallop in your life and check out this video for more me and this video for more me <laughs> i'll see you next time bye